Hello everybody, my name is the Johnny Man and welcome to Farming Simulation 19 on Greenwich Valley. Now, today we are going to be starting off this let's play and well I am going to drive around and try and find my way around the map and yes, see what we find. things first. I want to go up to the sheep farm and show you some stuff because it's one of the two farms that we own. The first one is the grain farm which I started out on and all of this land, all these grass fields around here, they are ours and that that gate is open. I have got some hay in here, as you can see just there. The grass has grown back, and I will need to fix some stuff. So anyway, yes, this is the first talking video that I have done in a long time, and I am hopefully not going to do it very long. So, this is the sheep farm around here. We have got some stuff here. Of course, we haven't bought any sheep yet. I am planning to get some food and some water for them. And in the meantime, we are using these sheds for storage. And in here, Surprisingly, we have got a Russian piece of kit, a Rostamash forage harvester, and a coon mower. I am actually hoping that I can try and get another one of these and put it on the other tractor. Now, this is one of our machines. This is a I can't see the model number anywhere. All I know is that it's an unknown model four and it's dirty because it has been hooked up to that mower in field number 44 which has the hay over there. I have been doing some testing on my own and well first of all to this author of the map green barrel he did a fantastic job on this i am enjoying this map so far and fingers crossed it wins the mod contest of course i need to look at some other maps right so this is the sheep farm um and for some Has anybody got any survival roleplay thing that they can um, did about this? Any vibes about that series? Because I feel like this car is familiar. Well, it doesn't have a number plate, so. I'm not sure about that. Alright. That is weird. Alright, let's jump back into the pickup here. They call it pickup in other countries. In Australia, we call it Utes because obviously this is what I love for you because it's got a tiny little crack here which separate, separates the cat and a truck. So technically this shouldn't be called a lizard pickup 2014, it should be called a lizard ute 2014. Right, so we're going to be heading down the road here. Um, 
past the field number 53, which is on our right, and is growing canola. There's quite a few grass fields around here. Plenty of hay and straw and silage to be Now, we're gonna turn right down here, and we're gonna head to the store to get some seed because we may need to fill up the seed drill because it has sown the field number 33 on the far left corner of the map well, Ute is going crazy and to get there quickly I think I am going to do a jump up We have reached the village of Linton. So this is Linton and Valley Green up there. So yeah. As you can see we have lots and lots of fields around here. Plenty of space to choose from. They do a really, really good job with these maps, with these British maps. If only we had this much quality for Australian ones. Alright, so let's turn in here. this just for just for loading pallets and stuff I don't know because we've got we've got the skid steer this is ours and I've used the CSZ back pack and it has the wheel loader to trailer attacher I thought it would be easier to manoeuvre trailers with this. Alright, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And now for the seed. Now since the 1.4 update, there is no longer lizard seed bag but a pioneer one instead and they've branded all this stuff hmm. pretty good all right let's get two of those and let's jump onto this one two walker Is there's a grain farm, a sheep farm, a cow farm, a pig farm, and horses. So we could have all these different farms, and we could also have a small business, which is the shop, which owns a telehandler, or this forklift. Hopefully, this 
actual fit. I'm hoping it does, because I paid quality money for this. Green. There's a farming simulator mod contest 2019 sign. Um, shop to let, shop to let. Yeah. Shop to let. Alright, giveaway sign. Is there anyone coming? There's that Suzuki again. Hmm, weird. Um, hang on a minute. I'm not driving on that. There's a Volkswagen there. Unless that man moves his... Wait, can I toggle this? So here's Bally Green. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of fields up over there. If I can zoom right out. Once again, this is a very, very nice piece of artwork. I have never been to the UK, but. I actually feel like I am here. Now, that was the valley green we just passed. 
and they free. Take a long drive up. We should soon reach Stray and RK Blair Farm Supplier. If, if the map doesn't work. There's a cow farm over there. I will be doing some insight to that later. Possibly, possibly early Saturday, which is tomorrow, if this video gets published then. Depending. And we have missed the turning for straight, so um, we're going to go around here and go for straight. Oh yes, whoa! Wait, what? That man is an idiot! This clearly says red! This is ridiculous. Is that man gonna do it as well? Stop! Stop! These people are crazy. I don't know. We can actually look inside of it. That's that. That is policy. jump cut and get this seed back to the farm. Now, here in Australia, I don't know about the UK, we like to drive ridiculously fast. 110 kilometers an hour. So let's do that all the way to back to the farm. And hopefully it will take three minutes. Yeah. Uh... 
um, that concludes the first looks slash first episode. So, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. As you can see, I also have another mod, the third person mod, and I have am wearing the comments like a hat. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video, and until next time, don't crash into the hedges, good luck to all the models in the mod contest, and happy farming people.